Are you this type of birthday person? Happy October, everybody! You guys aren't in a celebrating type of mood? What? October? Yeah, the greatest month out of all 12? You like Halloween? Birthday girl! Oh. If you couldn't guess by my enthusiasm and subtle hints, my birthday is coming up on the 25th of this month. Instead of sharing random birthday related stories, I thought I would do something a little less expected and brutally rank every birthday cake I've ever had with photographic evidence. I have dug deep into the archives to pull out photos of every birthday I've ever had, including the cakes. The store-bought, the homemade by my loving mother, and even the ones I made myself when I took up baking as a job and hobby. Yes, we're going right back to the beginning. One year old. Woolworth store-bought mud cake. An absolute childhood classic. Honestly, I'm still impressed to this day with how good these are. To be fair though, I might have been brainwashed since I was eating them from birth, but uh, it's a simple cake, cute enough, and tastes great. That's all a one-year-old needs considering I probably had no idea what was going on the entire time. I was just randomly being worshipped one year into my existence. Two years old. Store-bought Leamington cake. There is no doubt I probably demolished this cake at the time. However, present day me doesn't actually enjoy Leamington's anymore. Three years old. Mud cake, again, but with Smarties. Would you look at that? Another mud cake, but with a creative DIY from my mum. Mmm, giant Smarties. Four years old. Mud cake. Okay, I promise this will get more interesting as I get older. Imagine if the whole list was just mud cakes. That's what I'd call 21 fantastic birthdays, to be honest. Five years old. Care Bears cake. Still a cake from good old Woolies, but this one was massive. Around this age, I had an obsession with Care Bears and My Little Pony, the original one. I thought this cake was big, but have a look at this knife. Stab. Six years old. Yep, more Smarties, but they're normal sized this time. Six years old marks the beginning of the homemade cakes. <laughs> this one looks delicious and so glossy, like it has been covered in some Sculpey gloss glaze. <laughs> Party cakes. As kids, my siblings and I were only allowed to have birthday parties every second year throughout primary school, mostly because my mum had to organize and cook everything, and having 10 random children in the household was always chaos. These parties were added onto the usual family-only celebrations, which meant I got a second cake for those years. Yeah. So I'll make sure to also list those as we go. Six-year-old birthday party. My Little Pony Woolies cake. Just like the Care Bears one, but my little pony. Good stuff. Seven years old. Big chocolate cake. Now this was a big mama. The size of this cake reminds me of those huge burgers you see in those ridiculous food challenges. Needless to say, I had a field day with this one. Eight years old. Chocolate cake with... This cake was based on another childhood obsession of mine, but I plan to actually make a very big video about the topic sometime in the next few months, so I'm going to keep this one under wraps for now. Eight years old birthday party. Pink cake of. During primary school from year two to year six, my mum and I would make roughly 30 cupcakes each year to share with my class. Eight years old, class cupcakes. Cocoa Pop Bears. Cute design, but very stressful behind the scenes. The icing began to set quickly, so my whole family were placing Cocoa Pops on the cakes as quickly as we could <gasps> with our grubby little mitts. Nine years old. Chocolate cake with a brat's candle. More chocolate. But who's this? Ooh, brats. <laughs> Yasmin stealing the show. We've got some flower and heart decorations going on. Brats forever diamonds. Yeah, the brats obsession was strong at this age. And from what I can remember, this cake tasted so good. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just getting flashbacks. Nine years old, class cupcakes. Flowers and dragonflies. Most people preferred the flowers, but the dragonflies definitely tasted better in my opinion. All the petals were cooking chocolate drops. Bit of a funky taste with those. 10 years old. Green and purple butterfly cake. Here's some evidence of my purple and green color pairing obsession from over a decade ago. In a little pre-life crisis before turning double digits, I had some personal realizations. 
One, it turns out I much prefer vanilla cake, so from this point forward, the chocolate cake streak is ruined. And two, it was time to step up the creativity with my birthday cakes. Introducing the butterfly cake. Woo, yeah. Where the body of it kind of looks questionable like a poo. But this was literally just a circle cake cut in half and switched around to create the wings, a boost bar for the body, and two pieces of red licorice. At this time, purple food coloring wasn't really a thing in grocery stores, hence why it sort of looks like wet concrete. 10 years old, class cupcakes. Apples. Cute concept, however, most kids, including myself, hated these peppermint leaves. Also, the pretzel sticks got really soggy in the cake. 10 year old birthday party, sleepover girls cake. Okay, possibly the most cursed one out of the lot. It was meant to be a bunch of friends having a fun sleepover and it's just a bunch of scary girls and logs of bodies in a bed. My favorite face was the one with the blue hair. Thought it looked so cool. 11 years old, purple, more like gray and pink butterfly cake. Remember how I said it was time to make more creative cakes? Well, obviously I lacked inspiration the following year because we made another butterfly cake. But worse, I think? Looks like I was still experimenting with my writing gels. Wrote my name on the questionable log I see. Sometimes less is more. 11 years old, class cupcakes. Chickens. Kinda cute, but they look like they are staring into my soul. <coughs> so, still kind of cursed. 12 years old, rainbow cake. Finally something different. This would have been the perfect opportunity to make a rainbow cake, but I didn't think about that. This was a fun, easy, and super cute cake to make. Not the biggest fan of marshmallows, but it was worth it for the visuals. 12 years old, class cupcakes and party cupcakes. So many cupcakes. For school, we made these tiny owl cupcakes, and for the party, we took a bunch of cupcakes and formed them into one big owl. Look at him. Both of these were pretty cool, so we ended off the cupcake saga with a bang. 13 years old. Fish cake. Out of all the cakes, this fish cake. No, not this fish cake. Involved effort and precision during the cutting process. From what I can remember, I believe we cooked a big slab, cut off all the corners evenly, and placed them for the fin and tail, and boom, it's a fish. 14 years old. Domo cake. All right, time to expose another phase I've been through. I had the biggest Domo obsession. Uh, <laughs> I've got plushies, bags, figures, sticky notes, etc. Enter Domo cake. I experimented with fondant for the mouth area on this one, but I try and avoid it at all costs, to be honest. For his fur, there was a thin layer of chocolate icing. Then we pushed in a bunch of tiny chocolate chip pieces. I think this worked perfectly to give him that fuzzy vibe. The eyes were done with two big chocolate drops smothered in black riding gel. Yeah, I didn't eat those. 14 year old birthday party. Domo cake times two. Yeah, another one. 15 years old, Totoro cake. Oh my God, I hate it. He looks like a soggy rat. Here is my reference photo. There are so many problems with my version. I was running out of time and I thought I could get away with no ears and it's still looking all right. No way, looking like that emoji. 16 years old, calcifer cake. Sticking with the Ghibli theme, we've got calcifer from House Moving Castle. Ah. Uh. Gonna be honest, it's not a great one either. It was a last minute baking session. A lot of people thought this was a Bart Simpson cake. Ah! 16 year old birthday party. Loaded cake. You've probably seen these cakes before or even had one yourself. They never disappoint. 17 years old. Painter's palette cake. I just cut out the part of the side and a circle for the thumb hole and there we have it. It did look like Pac-Man though. 18 years old. Hamburger cake. I love this one so much. I celebrated my 18th with a massive hamburger cake. This was made with three cakes. Two vanilla for the buns and one chocolate for the patty. The lettuce was piped. Tomato and cheese are made with fondant. Also, how cute are the sesame seeds? They were rice bubbles. My brother actually made the burger bun color for me with very limited resources. It's still one of his biggest flexes to this day. My love for burgers, and even more so Bob's Burgers, really feel the creation of this one. 19 years old, flower basket cake. A bit random, 
I know. At this time, I was experimenting a lot with my new piping tips. Can you tell? I think that's supposed to be a sunflower. Um, I love how the grass is growing in the basket too. How does that even work? 19 year old birthday party. Experimentation cake. This was my very first time making ganache for the drip and trying out a rainbow smear. Not too bad if I say so myself. 20 years old. Beach scene cake. My 20th birthday was in that period of time where it was kind of locked down, but also kind of not. We weren't sure if we could travel purely for leisure, so I brought the beach to my house on my cake. Yeah. We got some piped coral pieces, seaweed, and some little fish fingers. No joke, these metallic balls are 10 years out of date. We got one of those umbrellas for cocktails, but cake edition. Let me just grab my straw. <laughs> 20 year old birthday party. Similar concept to the previous party cake, but more Halloween themed. A three layered cake with orange, white, chocolate ganache. 21 years old. Sushi cake. Finally, I made a single piece of sushi as my cake last year. Simple, but looks so realistic and I love it. My only real struggle was making the black icing. Like I put in so much black food coloring gel and it was still a dark gray tone. So I looked up to see if there were any hacks online and I saw if you add cocoa powder, it turns more black. It turned black all right and completely threw off the consistency of the outer layer. But in the end, it kind of looked like seaweed. So it's a bit of a win. That black icing was definitely not edible though. It tasted disgusting. Bonus cake. I shared a cake with my auntie one year who has a birthday very close to mine. Um... Anyway, baking and decorating cakes has become one of my many hobbies and is something I look forward to each year. Speaking of which, my birthday is coming up later this month and I've got another cake to make, but I haven't decided what I'm doing yet. Please vote on my social media polls and I'll make whichever has the highest votes in total. The options are out of a red Mario mushroom, a camping scene, a piece of cheese or a wood stump. Cake number 22 is in your hands now. At the end of the month, I'll share my final results with you guys there too. If you made it this far into the video, let me know in the comments below. What's the coolest birthday cake you've ever had? This could be flavor, decorations, theme, anything. I'll review your responses in a second channel video in the near future. Catch you later, Wobbly Boys.